All right. I picked me up some Duke 850s. I picked up a half a dozen of them off of Mike Hicks over in Idaho. He wasn't there. I wish he would have showed up, but he didn't. And um, I'm going to do my modifications <clears throat> on it. And um, I look at it like this, guys. All right, you know, when uh, you buy, let's say, pre box hamburgers, you know, you get like maybe 16 hamburgers and it's a frozen box. It, you know what I mean? And and they're pre-made and all that. It's probably not the greatest meat. It's real beef, but it's probably not the best beef. Probably don't have the greatest taste. So what you got to do is you got to doctor it up. You got to go ahead and um, add some Dales to it and some um, seasonings to it. And then you can cheese it and then you, you turn it into a better hamburger. Well, that's what I'm going to do with these, I think. And the way I'm going to do this video is I'm basically going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to modify it together. So we're going to dismantle this dang thing. And um, I like the design of the trap and everything. I don't like some things. That big-ass pan, that's bad news. Yes, I'm sure it's going to all hold the wolf right now and everything. But we also got to make it legal in Montana where we can go ahead and tighten the pan tension. So what I got, that's bolts. I got some 3 8 ID round stock that needs to be cleaned up. Got fine thread hardened bolts and got me some washers in the bag down there. So um, let's get Alrighty. started. Let's pop these springs. That one got me. We're not going to keep that spring keeper, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it. Pop this pan off. Use that. I save all this stuff. I'll use it for something. Probably something more important than what it's doing right now. But I'll save it for something. So, what I want to do, that was like really quick and really easy. And what I want to do is, well, let's just go through it together. All right, so this, this ain't 3 8 It's going to fit through there. I'm going to open it up to 3 8 So, um, yeah. So we're going to open up the, the lever ends to 3 eighths. Now it'll accept that bolt nicely. Might as, well, <laughs> might as well do the pan while I got this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pan. I don't even know what to call it, but it's gonna receive the pan bolt. This little piece right here. So I need to get this measured and cut. piece gets welded all right so let's uh let's put these bolts in and see how this is going to work ain't sure which way i want to do the bolts i want to do end caps with uh one inch flat stock um 
So I ain't decided yet. I think, uh, I think we're gonna take them this way. Might even don't need to do end caps. But uh, I think I'm gonna do one across the back here just in case, so. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting her together. All right. So if I bring this down a little bit further this way, I can get a piece coming across the back there, or do I want to get it across the front there? I think. Yep, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drill holes through this. I'll weld it to this, I won't weld it to that. All right, let me get a mark here. Three and three quarters to the center. What did I measure up here? Four and three quarters, so that'll be good. Three and three quarters to the center. Let's go ahead and cut it off. My three and three quarters. These are six inch bolts. I don't see any hammer laying around. Oh yeah. Old Faithful. There's our new uh, spring carriage. Spring. Spring. We are about to put together a wolf drop. so much better all right so now what i want to do i'm gonna go ahead and tack weld or weld that right in there bolt down there and i'll i'll tack it i'll tack inside of that bolt so that'll be fine so all right let's weld that up now you guys i'm not no expert welder um so go ahead and make your comments now you know but I'm welding with the uh, Harbor Freight Flux Core. So go ahead and make your comments now. Look at the pretty light. Go ahead and get both sides.
dang springs are getting in my way. I don't want the springs to get hot. Awesome. All right, so let's cool that down. All right, so now I want to go ahead and I want to put this piece right here, like that. And I'm hoping it's all going to work. Now this is, I, I want to make sure my weld penetrates on this right here because, man, they, they'll rip that pan off. So let me get a really good weld on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. A lot better weld. All right. So That was hot, still hot. That, tighten her down. And then what I'm gonna do is put a spot of weld in that in there, but. If you ever done this with any of Kendall's traps, but <laughs> Kendall springs are holy smokes. It's uh, you just can't do it that easy with Kendall's. Awesome. Okay, so now we got a whole different unit here. Now we can go ahead and put this pan on um, after we fix the pan up. See, the pan's too big. So um, let's cut that pan down and turn it into a the final thing to turn this thing into a wolf drop. In my opinion, care correct everybody say correct all right let's take these burrs off because we don't need sharp edges no need for it Fellers, I think we got us a wolf trap. Spin that on there like that. Now we can, nice big bolt. We can get our pan tension like we need. And that's the wrong wrench. There. Oh, yeah, that's that's a lot nicer. All right, let's set it and see what happens. There, that's a lot better. That pan's not flopping around. Now, 
This is the stock one. Sure, this one here would probably catch a wolf, but uh, I like to have confidence in my equipment. So uh, I'm a lot happier with this one right here. That's what I was wanting right there, and that right there. Of course, I'll make my pans a lot prettier than that, but I got five more to do. So, to me, that's a wolf trap. Now I feel uh, confident. Oh, I gotta fix that right there. See that spring? And snap it. Oh, it rolled up on it, but uh, I'll have to fix that right there, but. I'm happy with it now.